and you're very welcome to the Irish Eye. I'm Tara Henry and we're here at the Brisbane Botanic Gardens for the Brisbane Irish Festival. Today is a huge day for the Irish community here in Brisbane. It's the St Patrick's Day Parade and we're going to go and chat to some of the people involved. I think St Patrick's Day for me is the one day of the year that anyone can be Irish but when you are have when you do have Irish heritage it's the one day that you can really embrace it and celebrate it and um, be with other people and do, be a part of a community. So that's that's what it means to me. Well we're um, Queensland Irish Association Pipe Band and we're leading the St Paddy's Day Parade so yeah. Excellent. And what does um, what does St Patrick's Day mean to you here in Brisbane? Um, an awful lot actually. Being the Queensland Irish it's, it's quite close to our hearts and we, and we sort of like to represent the Irish and we represent the culture everywhere around the world. So um, yeah it's a big day for us and lots of performances. It's a great day for the Irish people. It seems that every, any, anywhere in the world, the Irish get together and celebrate a great day. And um, very, very proud day to be Irish, and uh, I love the festivities. I'm here with the McCready family. Now I believe the St Patrick's Day parade is a bit of a tradition for you all. Yep, um, our dad moved here 30 years ago and was in the first parade 28 years ago. So we've been carrying the Dublin flag for 28 years now, which is pretty big. So we've all been in it since when we were little to now. So it's a pretty big tradition in our family, yeah. I'm actually Newcastle originally, but we lived in Tralee in County Kerry. So the girls were born over in Tralee. Um, their lovely mum Linda is from Tralee, County Kerry. Very good. And girls, what does St Patrick's Day mean to you? Um, well, it's really good because you can chance to show everyone like where you're from and like how much you love your country, kind yeah. of. <laughs> and what about you, Mia? Um, I just think it's awesome. <laughs> um, my dad's Irish and yeah, it's really fun celebrating um, St Patrick's Day because it's all about green and I love green. Excellent. And it's a bit different to home now with the heat, so what do you most like about St Patrick's Day in Australia? Um, it's different. It's different but as well as Patrick said, like everybody comes together so no matter where you are from around Brisbane, every the Irish community always goes together so it's good. St Patrick's Day is a great day, it's celebrated worldwide right around, um, it's, it, it's unbelievable really like you know, and it's, you can see from today how many Irish people it actually brings together right around, from, say, people are coming from all around Brisbane, out from Gold Coast, from Sunshine Coast and uh, they all basically get together and, and, and uh, it, it, it's, it's unreal really like I love it you know. What does St Patrick's Day mean um, to you? Just generally being Irish and um, the whole Irish community getting together and um, just a great day's fun and crack together. Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Jenny and Aoife who are entrants in this year's Queensland Rose of Tralee. Girls, thank you so much for being part of this. How are you enjoying your day so far? Oh, it's fantastic. It's great to get involved in something like this when you're a bit far from home. It's nice to feel um, part of a community over here and um, fe it feels a bit more at home when you're a part of this. Yeah, definitely. And Jenny? Yeah, no, I'm so excited. It's a great day to be Irish. It's lots of fun and I can't wait. <laughs> it means a lot to us because when I first came over, the first Paddy's Day I got to celebrate was with the South team. So it's been a tradition every year that Souths have got together and it's always been a big celebration. Start of season, get everybody together and it's been a really good time every single year. Not sure. Hey, it doesn't matter where you're in the world. If you're away from home, you're celebrating Irish. Everybody wants to be Irish on a day like today, so... Yeah, well, it's a celebration of Ireland and um, it's a fun day. It's a good day to get out and be part of the uh, parade and it's good atmosphere. It's always good atmosphere, good for the family, good for the kids. And what about you guys? What's your favourite part of St Patrick's Day? Marching. Marching, yeah. What's your favourite part of St Patrick's Day? Probably the marching as well. Marching? You're very lucky that you get to be part of such a cool float. And what's your favourite part of St Patrick's Day? Probably dressing up and marching. You look fantastic. I love it. It's our little bit of home away from home that we don't often get. I mean, the Aussies have their Australia Day and they make a big deal of it and this is our little opportunity just to have a bit of pride in ourselves and meet up with a few friends. You might only see some of the older friends maybe once a year now and it's usually around St Patrick's Day, so catch up for a quiet drink. St Patrick's Day means just being Irish and having fun. 
We're so excited for it. We can't wait. We look forward to it all year. <laughs> it's a very special day for all of us, isn't it? Like all the Irish, really. When we're away from, from Ireland and living out here, it's a great collection of the Irish community and um, a day to celebrate our Irishness over here. And what are you most looking forward to about today? When the bread's over and going drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no stereotypes here. Well, my parents are Irish. Uh, being first generation uh, Irish here in Australia, um, yeah, it makes us very proud and it's uh, a day to identify with our cultural background and bloodlines and ancestry and yeah, it's good. For me, St Patrick's Day is all about celebrating my Irish heritage and the fact that Australia's now got its own Irish heritage with the number of Irish coming out. Uh, well, I'm on the committee and it's a lot of um, fun organising it and it's really great to see the people coming here enjoying themselves and that's what we do it for, for people to enjoy it. <laughs> Excellent, so Jack O'Leary, you're a musician, you've just played the St Patrick's Day Parade in Brisbane, yeah, yeah, exactly. how are you feeling? Feeling absolutely very, very excited. St Patrick's Day is only a week away and what a build up, <laughs> what a build up. Well you've been, you've been fantastic, will you give us an old tune on the, well uh, play in the yeah, barrel? Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Okay, well, we'll do that after. So, <laughs> what, what does St Patrick's Day mean to you? Oh, well, I suppose when you're left home from Ireland and you're not living there anymore, it's important to connect with your culture, with the society, with the tradition, and your love of Ireland, I suppose, and that's what we're trying to celebrate on a parade day like today. We've got a big day of music today at Finn McCool's. Excellent. With the band, the Munster Bucks, right. Tommy Donovan from County Kerry, and Eddie Nolan from Waterford, and we play at Finn's every Sunday. Excellent. Well, thanks a million, Jack, and yeah, thank you. And keep playing the play, play the baron for us, there, will you? Okay, we'll do a little bit of a take of the baron here. The only time a baron player gets a baron solo. <laughs> It was down the glen one Easter morn to a city fair road I. There was armored lines of marching men in squadrons passed me by. No pipe did hum, no battle drum did sound its loud tattoo. And the angels bell o'er the liffy swell. It rang in through the foggy dew. Woo! <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. Take Thanks, care. Jack. Thanks a million.